Hi everyone, welcome to my basement. This is Dennis, the enthusiast, and uh, this is my demonetized YouTube channel, uh, which is for some reason not paying to me any money any longer. However, uh, since you guys are my beloved viewers, I decided to continue filming for you uh, the rubbish that I was filming before. So today's video is dedicated to the specific firearms that we are allowed to have here uh, as civilians in, in Russian Federation to own, to carry for self-defense purposes and for fun shooting as well, for sports applications, whatever you uh, wish to imagine. I'm talking about specifically built non-lethal firearms such as my Makarov and such as my TT Tulski Tokarev. Well, this video will be presented to you in the format of talking hands. Talking hands is uh, basically when the hands are talking, uh, self-explanatory. In Russia, we have two types of uh, non-lethal firearms. One of them were uh, rebuilt from decommissioned um, actual live firearms. The others are uh, newly built. For you to know, this exact TT is a newly built, and this Makarov is also newly built. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any uh, older ones, but they look exactly identical to the uh, to the ones that you got used to see in in your uh, gun shops and in your towns and your locations. To immediately understand that this is the uh, glorious Makarov, or this is the almighty uh, Tokarev. Yeah. Uh, needless to say that they uh, come in different calibers, they come in different designs, uh, they come in different furnitures, like for example the safety and the trigger on this one uh, was um, uh, ugly, newly made, uh, blackish, uh, oxidized uh, rubbish, uh, and, the, and the grip was also ugly, uh, like fox red, uh, plastic, uh, not pleasant to touch. So I changed it for the real marker of once and the, uh, the screw was changed and the safety and the trigger as well. So, but uh, let's stop talking, let's uh, come into details into, into basically the, uh, the philosophy of them. Uh, why are they non-lethal? Well, primarily because of the rounds used. This one, uh, chamber is clear is in the caliber 45 rubber. <laughs> rubber stands for rubber, 45 stands for uh, parts of an inch, 0, 45 of an inch. But um, as you may appreciate, this is basically uh, a casing of a 45 ACP in which a rubber ball has been pressed um, and now it's a non-lethal one. The uh, legislation tells us not to exceed 91 joules of muzzle power uh, in these non-lethal firearms. Uh, and basically before the changes in the legislation, there was no limit and they were basically uh, average live firearms uh, killing with these rubber bullets like easy. Uh, now they are not, but of course if you fire the skull at a close range, uh, you definitely break it and the person will most likely die. So you're going to be responsible when you're self-defending. If you don't want to harm uh, someone who is attacking you, or unless you want to bleed him to death, then uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, try to defend yourself before the Russian court, which is not really possible. So be responsible. That's rule number one. So this specific casing was actually made from a former 45 ACP surplus uh, uh, <laughs> shell. And uh, yeah, the pretty hard rubber object is inside. I can, I can try and press it with some something like to show you exactly. Can you see? I hope you can. Otherwise, blame me and my California designed camera. So others others are using different rounds and different caliber. They 
Vidar uh, 10 by 28 that, that's a variety of calibers actually I don't want to describe them but I want to describe you the uh, the design of the firearms and of course what has been changed dramatically is the barrel because the barrel is the main uh, piece of equipment which is making it uh, a firearm because the, the object can travel through the barrel and uh, legislation tells you to prevent the possibility to uh, fire with hard objects such as a metal bullet uh, so only a rubber a flexible uh, substance can travel through it so if we dismantle it we can see the, uh, the design of the barrel how it has been built and uh, how it allows you not to violate legislation preventing the hard object to travel yeah so here's the standard tt uh, basically this one is made of norinco parts from china and then uh, brought to the requirements of the russian legislation uh, yeah how exactly i will show you in a second the uh, the, uh, the most essential part of it has been replaced it's the barrel and and in order to fire a, how you call it, a shallower, less powerful rounds, the uh, recoil spring has been changed because this, this one is the original TT spring and this one is shorter one to fire a uh, non-lethal round. Yeah, dismantles the same way as the standard TT. You've seen it many times. You own a live TT yourself firing 7.62 by 25 original TT round. But this one is chamber. Well, first of all, there are no locks in here. They were milled out and uh, it's no longer able to, uh, This, I mean, this. Uh, uh. So if you try and see through the barrel of this particular TT, you will notice one interesting thing. It is variable in diameter. Inner doesn't match the outer. So the uh, flexible round can go through, not flexible cannot. Unlike the, uh, the Makarov, the Mac, they are built differently and their barrel has a different construction. I've been showing it to you in my other previous videos see the, what they took they took uh, a false uh, barrel which is not a live uh, uh, rifle barrel from the marker of pistol but it's an uh, imitation uh, hard enough metal but still not uh, the gun metal so and they then uh, pressed it with uh, a lot of way uh, to make objects inside the barrel not that easily uh, possible so but still the energy powder energy of uh, of this tiny little round 45 rubber is enough to press the uh, the ball even at colder climate press the ball through this barrel and still cause a lot of damage at the target so as you can see there are different designs of barrels and, uh, we also have like this one um, it is also a non-lethal firearm. Not easy to dismantle. Now, let me show you how I fight with it. It's uh, basically a copy of Czech um, K100 live pistol, but this one calls uh, Grand Power T12FM1. Also quite an interesting, pretty precise a little uh, little gun. But see the barrel is also obstructed by two pins introduced inside. And if we can, can zoom on it, then uh, you'll probably see. Anyway, you see there are objects inside and uh, this tells you that no hard object can travel. No hard bullet. Yeah, so the legislation is matched and uh, everything's fine. You can carry it. You can uh, put it in your collection without the right to carry. You can uh, do many things with it. Uh, uh, to me, 
the most thing I can do with it is to have fun. <laughs> I like firing with the, the uh, carton targets and uh, steel, plastic, whatever. No live animals or people. God save me from this. Yeah. And these are the non-lethal 10 by 28 self-defense firearm. Very nicely done, actually. I'll shoot it at uh, five meters to the top of the target. Ten rounds gone. Okay, let's see if I can hit it. This is what it does. So, yeah, it, it is pretty traumatic. Indeed. Check out my other videos, which are in English. They are marked, they are in English in this channel. There's not many of them, but uh, some of them are definitely there. So you can enjoy my boring talking here in my basement. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Uh, yeah, for those of you who will be uh, trying to ask me a question in, 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 in the comments uh, down below. I am Russian, I was born in Russia, I'm a religious Russian, I've never lived outside of uh, Russian territory, only for probably several occasions, uh, being two, three weeks each, um, not many of them. So, yeah, the, uh, the language is from just uh, musical hearing and the parrot's habit to repeat sounds. This is how it comes. And yeah, and uh, Paul McCartney, John Lennon, Richard Starkey and the other ones. <laughs>